Good morning. Buenos días. Welcome to each and every one of you. Bienvenido a cada uno de ustedes en esta mañana. And it is good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 Es bueno estar en la casa del Señor. Even though it's chilly this morning, uh, we woke up and we were cold. And en esta mañana estaba frío, nos despertamos con frío. But we made it to his house. And we get to come and worship him this morning. Y tenemos el privilegio de venir y adorarle en esta mañana. So this morning I'm going to ask you to stand on your feet. Les voy a pedir que se ponga de pie as we begin this morning. And I just want to encourage you to prepare your heart. En esta mañana los queremos animar a que preparen sus corazones. May you come through, this, through those doors and leave your burdens aside. Que entres por esas puertas y dejen sus cargas afuera. May you come ready to worship him, ready to have an encounter with Jesus. Que vengan hoy y tengan un encuentro con Jesús. And this morning, let us pray. Vamos a orar. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day. We thank you because you are good. We thank you because you are wonderful, because you are marvelous, because you are the creator of heaven and earth. And we thank you because you looked down on us and you said, I love you. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. Thank you for the forgiveness of our sins. Thank you for our salvation. And thank you for the gifts of your Holy Spirit. And this morning, Lord, as we come to your house, may, be, may we be ready to worship you in truth and spirit. May our hearts be ready to receive from you what you have for us this morning. I thank you, Father, for each and every person that is here. I ask a blessing over them, and may your spirit work in us and through us, and that we may not leave this place the same way that we came in, but we walk from here transformed and renewed and empowered by the power of your Holy Spirit. May you be glorified and may you be honored. Señor Jesús, te damos gracias en este día por el privilegio de poder venir a tu casa. Te damos gracias por haber mandado a tu Hijo Jesús a morir en la cruz por nuestros pecados. Gracias, Señor Jesús, porque podemos venir a tu casa, podemos alabarte y podemos darte las gracias y bendecirte por un nuevo día. Te pedimos que obres en nuestras vidas, que transformes, que renueves, que restaures nuestras vidas a través del poder del Espíritu Santo y que no salgamos de este lugar de la misma manera que entramos, pero salgamos transformados por tu Espíritu, Señor. Muévete en este lugar, transfórmanos y te damos a ti las gracias, la gloria y la honra que solamente tú mereces. En el nombre precioso de tu Hijo amado Jesús. Amén. Amén. God is good. In all the time. Amen. Come on, give a hand to the Lord because he is good and he is here in this place with us. And this morning, as we get ready to worship him, just look at someone next to you, around you, and say, hey, it's good to see you in the house of God. Mira alguien alrededor de ti, dile, es bueno verte en la casa de Dios. It's good to see you. Good to see everyone in the house of God. Es gusto vernos a todos, a cada uno de nosotros, en la casa de Dios. So welcome, everyone. And for those watching in Facebook, uh, we want to welcome you and... Uh, you know, worship with us and enjoy this beautiful day with us as we worship together. Cantemos y adoremos juntos los que nos están viendo en Facebook también, que juntos adoremos y cantemos a nuestro Dios. Because God is the everlasting God. Do you believe that? He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And, and that's the kind of God that we serve, the God that never changes, but always, is always faithful, always there for us. Amen? And we're going to sing this song together. Here we go. You're welcome to join us with your hands. Yeah. Hallelujah. And you know what? Strength arise as we sing, as we wait upon the Lord. We will become stronger. Here we go. The strength arise as we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. Come on, sing it out. Strength arise as we wait upon the Lord. We will wait upon the Lord. We will wait. Our God. Our God, 
you reign forever. Our hope, our hope, our strong, our strong deliverer. Come on, sing it out. You are, you are the everlasting God, the everlasting God. You do not faint, you do not faint, you won't grow weary. You are defender of the weak. You comfort those in need. You lift us up on wings like eagle. Yeah. Come on, we're gonna sing that again. Strength arise as we wait upon the Lord. Here we go. Nuevas fuerzas tendrán los que esperan en Dios. Esperaremos en Dios. Esperaré. Nuevas fuerzas tendrán los que esperan en Dios. Esperaremos en Dios. Here we go, our God. Nuestro Dios reina por siempre. Nuestro fuerte libertador. Come on, sing you are. Eres el infinito Dios, el infinito Dios. Tú no desmayas, tú nunca fallas. Defensor de los débiles, nuestro consolador. Y nos levantas en alas. De Aguila. Yeah. All right, now let me hear you say, Strength arise as we wait upon the Lord. Here we go. Strength arise as we wait upon Let me hear you. Wait upon the Lord. Strength arise as Come on, sing it one more time a little louder. Strength arise. Strength arise as we. upon the Lord, strength arise as we wait upon the Lord, where our God, our God, you reign forever, our hope, our strong deliverer, come on, sing it out, you are, you are the everlasting God. The everlasting God, you do not faint, you won't grow weary. Oh, you are the defender of the weak, you comfort those in need. You lift us up on wings like eagles, you are. You are the everlasting God, everlasting God. You do not faint, you won't grow weary. Oh, you are the defender of the weak, and you comfort those in need, and you lift us up on wings like. Ego. Yeah. Come on, give it out to the Lord. He is good. He is good. He is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We serve a great God, amen. We have a great God and we serve and we sing and we worship that great God with all of our hearts because he's been good to us, amen. Amen. He's been good to us. And the only thing that we can do is say, God, how great you are. How great you are is your faithfulness. How great is your goodness. Que grandes tus misericordias. Que grandes son tus maravillas. And today I invite you to have that the attitude of worship and just thankfulness and say, God, thank you because you are amazing. Thank you because you are a great God and there is none that compares to you. No hay nadie que se compare a ti. Tú eres un Dios grande, un Dios maravilloso. Y por eso te adoramos y te cantamos en esta mañana. Let's sing it together. 
How great is our God? Sing with me. How great is our God? And who will sing? How great, how great is our God? Come on, if you believe that with all your heart, sing it again. How great. How great is our God. Come on, church, sing with me. How great is our God. And oh, we'll sing how great, how great is our God. Because He's the name of all names. He's the name above all names. You are worthy, God. You're worthy of all praise. In my heart, in my heart, will sing how great is our God. Come on, sing that again. You are the name, Jesus. You are the name above all names. You are worthy, worthy of our praise. And my heart will sing how great is our God. Then six months. My Savior God to Thee. Come on, sing it with me. How great Thou art. How great, how great Thou art. Come on, all together. Then sings my soul. Then sings my soul. My Savior God to Thee. How great, how great Thou art. And how great Thou art. Come on, all together. Then sings my soul. Then sings my soul. My Savior to Thee, and how great Thou art, how great, oh, how great Thou art. Come on, sing it again, church. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. Jesus, how great you are, Jesus, worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, Jesus, because there is none that compares to you, God. There is none that compares to you. There is none that compares to you, Jesus. How great you are, Jesus. And we just come to say how amazing you are. We've come to say how amazing you are. We've come to say there is none like you. Only you can take care of us the way you do. Only you can provide the way you do, Jesus. Only you can heal us the way you do. Only you can do miracles the way you do. And that's why we declare that you are a mighty, powerful God. That is always present, always there for us. And the least thing that we can do 
is just pour our hearts in worship. Pour our hearts in worship to you, Jesus. Because there is no other like you. Just sing this very last time, just your voices. Then sing my soul, very last time, sing it together. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. With all your heart say, how great Thou art. How great and how great Thou art. Then sings my soul. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, and how amazing God you're amazing Jesus and we worship you this morning be exalted be exalted as we as we open our hearts to you as we as we prepare for your word be exalted in our hearts and in this place in Jesus name we pray and God's people say and God's people say come on give another hand to the Lord because he is good hallelujah 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 you may be seated church God bless you well, what a treat we had this morning. Qué bendición tuvimos en esta mañana that we were able to come into his house and just worship him. Qué bendición que pudimos venir a su casa y alabarle. And I hope that this words that we sang, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art. Qué bueno es el Señor y sus misericordias. And these words, let them soak in. Let this worship, let this time that we enjoy in his presence soak in. Deja que esta alabanza, que estos cantos penetren tu alma y en tu corazón. And that you, again, that you leave this place transformed. That you leave this place renewed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Que salgas de este lugar transformado por el poder del Espíritu Santo. Amen. I enjoyed it. I loved the worship, the time that we had, and I hope you did as well. Disfrutamos la alabanza en este lugar y esperamos que tú también. And now we just have a couple announcements. Tenemos unos cuantos anuncios. So we are starting our kettle season. Vamos a empezar nuestra temporada de campanas. And we are beginning on Tuesday, November 17, all the way to December 24th. Vamos a empezar el martes, noviembre 17, y terminaremos al 24 de diciembre. We need volunteers. We need your hands. We need your feet. Necesitamos voluntarios, tus manos y tus pies. If you have a couple hours during the week, during the weekend, uh, volunteer. Let us know. Contact my husband or myself and let us know. I want to be a part of something bigger that's going on in San Jose and in, in your community. Queremos, si quieres ser voluntario, háblanos, déjanos saber. Queremos que seas parte del ministerio que está pasando en este lugar. We need your prayers. We need your support. We need to come together as one family and make sure that we get Christmas uh, done this year because it'll be a blessing. Esperamos que este año nos ayuden con las campanitas y podamos salir adelante. So any questions, if you need volunteer, uh, want to volunteer, contact us. We'll meet you at the site and we'll have everything ready for you to come. We just need you to be there and just be a light and shine for Jesus wherever you at. Que, que si quieres ser voluntario, ven con nosotros y queremos que brilles para Jesús en el lugar Donde estés. Any questions? Contact uh, my husband or myself. Next one. Happy Thanksgiving. So next Sunday. Is it already next Sunday? Yes? 
Yes, next Sunday? Yes, next Sunday. It is our Thanksgiving service. Wow, time is going by so fast. El siguiente domingo tendremos nuestro servicio de acción de gracias. What a beautiful time where we get to come to his house and just say, thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you've done this year. Qué el bendición que podemos venir a su casa y darle gracias por lo que ha hecho este año. Thank you, Lord, for whatever happened this crazy 2020. We thank you because your mercies were new every day. Te damos gracias porque aunque este año fue um, increíble, le damos gracias a Dios por sus misericordias. We thank him because we are alive. We're standing one more day and we come together. And this next Sunday, come with your heart, with thanksgiving in your heart as we uh, begin our service next Sunday of Thanksgiving. Next announcement. Uh, well, before we get to that, um, can we start getting our scripture readers close to the front so you guys can read after church, um, after the announcements? Uh, we want to welcome anybody that is visiting us for the first or for the second time. If you are here first, second, even third time, we want to get to know you. We want to greet you. Si nos visitas por primera, segunda vez, queremos saber tu nombre, te queremos conocer. This is our family. San Jose Temple, we come together every Sunday with one purpose, to worship Jesus, to worship Jesus. Venimos una vez por semana en la iglesia y somos una familia y nuestro propósito es de alabar a Jesús. So if you're here for the first time, I know Josh, you have some special visitor, a guest this morning. You want to introduce them? And welcome, welcome. We are so glad you're visiting us this morning. It is so exciting to have new visitors. And then back here we have a couple. Do you want to let us tell us your name? Nicole. First time Nicole and? <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. It is so good to have you here. It is so good to have you in worship with us, and we want you to feel at home. We want you to feel um, the spirit of God in this place, and we are so excited. You are our special guest this morning, all right? We are a special guest. And then we also have one very special guest this morning with us, our boss, Major Darren Norton. Nuestro jefe está aquí visitándonos, and we're just grateful for you, Major, for your prayers throughout this season, for your support that you and your wife have given us. We are just so grateful that you get to come and see um, the people of San Jose. You get to come and see the ministry that is happening here. And let me tell you, there's exciting things happening here. Amen? Amen. People are being transformed. Lives are being changed. And we are ready to take out the ministry and the word of God out in this community. So welcome, Major. Welcome, everybody else. And it is so good to see you. Polly, it is good to see you. All right, so let us do our scripture this morning. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for meeting me at the, at the house of my father to worship this morning. I want to say welcome to all those. It's nice after uh, the opening to see so many faces. Today's scripture is taken from uh, the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verses 4 through 6. And it says, and you know the way to where I'm going. No, we don't, Lord, said Thomas. We have no idea where you're going. So how can we know the way? Jesus told them, I am the way the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Amen. Amen. Buenos dias. Este 
San Juan, capítulo 14, pues ya 4 y 6. Ustedes ya conocen el camino para ir donde yo voy. Dijo entonces Tomás, Señor, no sabemos a dónde vas, así que, ¿cómo podemos conocer el camino? Yo soy el camino, la verdad y la vida, le contestó Jesús. Nadie llega al Padre sino por mí. Amen. Amen. So we watched this video last Sunday um, just to remind you of all the things that God is for us, that, that Jesus is for us. And, and also last Sunday, we invited you to, to come up with your own, with your own, um, uh, what is Jesus to you? What is God to you? Um, what are you thankful that God has been to you in this past year, in this past months, weeks? Um, so we're continuing with our, with, our great, uh, with our sermon series, I'm Thankful That You Are. Um, estoy agradecido que tú eres. Vamos a continuar con esa serie de agradecimiento. But now I'm going to ask you, again, to fill out the blank. Go next. So fill out the blank. Uh, well, actually, before we get to that, um, fill in the blank. I'm thankful you are. And let me hear what is God's been to you. ¿Qué es lo que Dios ha sido para ti? Uh, just shout it out. I'm thankful you are. Faithful. I'm thankful you are. My rock. Thank you. Merciful. I'm thankful you are. Oh, powerful. What else has he's been to you? Forgiving. Redeemer. A blessing. Blessings. Amen. And, and he's been all these things and more to us. Amen. Y él ha sido todas esas cosas para nosotros y aún más. And that's why in, in this month, you know, we're focusing on what has God been good to us. How God has been there for us. Este mes nos estamos enfocando en cómo Dios ha estado ahí para nosotros. And, and, and as, we, as we think of God, you know, we cannot stop of thinking of all the things that you said and even more. You know, I'm sure more things are coming to mind. You're like, God, you've been faithful. You've been provider. You've been always there for me. Has estado ahí a mi lado. Has sido fiel. Has sido, uh, me has proveído todas mis necesidades. God has been there always for us. And, and that's why we are to come to his house uh, with a thankful heart. Por eso, venimos a su casa con un corazón agradecido. And we, now we're going to read a scripture uh, for this series. And it's Psalm 104. Just read it with me. Here we go. Enter his gate with thanksgiving. In his court with praise, give thanks to him and praise his name. 
Now we're going to give it a shot in Spanish. Here we go. Entren por sus puertas con acción de gracias. Vengan a sus atrios con himnos de alabanza. Denle gracias. Alaben su nombre. Very well. You guys sounded great. Your Spanish is getting better every Sunday. That's awesome. That's awesome. And, 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 and we're focusing on, on what God has been to us and what God is to us and for us. So before we get any farther, let me just pray that God will just open our minds, our hearts, that we can receive his word this morning. Oremos para que Dios nos, nos, nos prepare nuestros corazones y nuestras mentes para recibir su palabra. Father, we just come before you. We're grateful for this beautiful morning, and we're just thankful that you are here with us. And you've been always there for us, and that's why... We come with a grateful heart this morning because you've been our provider. You've been our, our redeemer. You've been the one that's been uh, the strength and, and the rock of our salvation all this time, all this year, Father. No matter what, how things look on outside, Father, you've always been with us, faithful in our lives. And for that, we're grateful. Señor, te damos gracias porque tú has sido bueno, maravilloso, de la manera como te has movido en nuestras vidas. Nunca nos ha faltado nada porque tú has sido fiel y bueno con nosotros. Prepara nuestros corazones y nuestra mente para recibir hoy tu palabra. Te lo pedimos en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Amén. So last Sunday, next, last Sunday we talked about that we're, we were thankful because God was our He's been our provider, right? La semana pasada hablamos de que Él ha sido nuestro proveedor. Um, and let me just tell you, um, uh, we have this brother. He's not here right now, but he approached me during the week when I was doing the food distribution outside on the parking lot. Se me acercó este hermano que no está aquí ahorita, pero se me acercó uh, cuando estaba durante la semana, cuando yo estaba fuera en el estacionamiento. And, and, and he said, Pastor, because he hasn't been in church for a long time, so he came last Sunday, and it was so nice to see him. His name is Suarez. Um, su nombre es Suárez, no ha venido por mucho tiempo, pero vino la semana pasada. And, and then he came during the week to get um, food assistance, and he's like, Pastor, I got to talk to you. Y me dijo, Pastor, necesito hablar contigo. I'm like, yeah, yeah, of course. He pulled me aside, and he's like, last Sunday you talk about God being our provider. El domingo pasado hablaste de que Dios es nuestro proveedor. And, and, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I remember it. And then he's like, Pastor, I went to work. You know, I think I heard my, my, my hernias or, or something. Yeah, hernias, hernias, something like that. Me lastimé mis hernias. He's like, I felt, you know, they, they, they pop. I felt, I had problems with this in the past. I felt they hurt. I couldn't walk that well. I was done. Y, y me dijo, me lastimé las hernias. No podía caminar. Me dolían las piernas. Pensé que ya, había, ya estaba acabado. So he went back to his place, regresó a su lugar, and, and he just laid down, se acostó. And he just remembered that God provides everything that we need, right? Y se acordó que Dios provee todo lo que necesitamos. And he started praying and said, God, just, you know, you know my situation. You know what I need. I want to go back to work the next day, but I can't. I, like, I feel like my legs are done, right? These hernias are killing me. Y siento que mis piernas ya no, no funcionan. Ya yo no puedo caminar, no puedo ir a trabajar, pero necesito ir a trabajar. Ayúdame. So he started asking for help. God, help me. God, help me. Dios, ayúdame, ayúdame. And he just lay down. Se acostó. He closed his eyes as he was praying. Cerró sus ojos. He told me that he started feeling that two hands started massaging his legs. Él empezó a sentir que dos piernas empezaron a masajear sus piernas. He got so scared that he opened his eyes and he tried to put his hands where, where he felt the hands. And, 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 then it, and then it stopped. The massaging stopped, right? So se asustó tanto que puso, te trató de agarrar las manos y, y he thought actually someone was there, but he was on, on his own place. And he woke up and he was like, okay, what was that, right? Uh, se despertó y dijo, ¿Qué, ¿qué fue eso? And he's like, and he was thinking about it for a minute and he's like, God, if it's you, then continue. But I don't know what was that, right? What was that feeling that I was feeling like someone massaging were my hernias? Alguien sintió que alguien estaba masajando, masajando sus, sus, donde sus hernias. So he lay down again, closed his eyes, put his arms to the side, and he said, God, if it's you, do it again. If it's you, heal me. Uh, y dijo, Dios, si eres tú, no voy a meter las manos. Tú sáname, tú haz tu trabajo. And as soon as he gave that to God, surrendered that to God, he told me, he promised me, he was like, Pastor, I felt those hands again. I felt those hands again. Just touching where it hurt, touching, you know, healing me, healing my body, tocándome donde me dolía tanto las hernias, sanando mi cuerpo. 
He said, in a few minutes, he didn't feel the pain anymore. En unos minutos, yo no sentí el dolor. The next day, he got up, and he was like, he felt like good as new. Se levantó el siguiente día como nuevo, como si nada, and he went to work. Um, y se fue al trabajar. And he was just so grateful, estaba tan agradecido, like, that he had to come to church and, and, and tell me all about it. Tuvo que venir a la iglesia a contarme todo eso. Um, and, and, and I believe that God does miracles, amen? Yo creo que sí, Dios hace milagros. We don't know how they look like. We don't know when they happen. No sabemos cómo se ven o cuándo suceden. But God still does miracles. And, and especially when we call out to his name and we say, God, I need you. I need you to come and, and, and be my provider and save me. That's when God moves in a mighty way. Y cuando le clamamos y le decimos, Señor, te necesito. Ven, sálvame, provee mis necesidades. Él viene y lo hace. So today, I just want to remind you that God is still working. God is still moving. God is still doing amazing things. And we just have to trust and call upon his name. Amen. Dios está haciendo grandes maravillas y solamente tenemos que llamarle y confiar en él. I wish brother was here today. I, I really wish. So he could tell you with his own words. Hopefully, he'll be here next week and uh, he can tell us a little more about it. Ojalá que el hermano venga la próxima semana y nos pueda contar un poquito más de su experiencia. But today we're talking about that we're thankful because God is our Savior. Hoy vamos a enfocarnos a hablar de que estamos agradecidos de que Dios es nuestro Salvador. How many of you are, of you are thankful that God is your Savior? Amen. ¿Cuántos están agradecidos que Dios es Salvador? Amen. Right? In times of need, we all need a Savior, right? En momentos de necesidad, todos necesitamos un Salvador. In times when we don't know where to go, we all need a Savior. Cuando no sabemos a dónde ir, necesitamos a un Salvador. When we don't know what to do next with our lives, we do need a Savior. Cuando no sabemos qué hacer con nuestras vidas, necesitamos un Salvador. And God is saying, I am there for you. I am there for you. I am your Savior. No matter what's going on in 2020. I mean, can you get any crazier in 2020, right? Like, I think we're like up here, right? In craziness, right? Estamos aquí de lo más, de lo loco que ha sido este año. And God is saying, no matter, no matter what happens in 2020, the rest of the year, I got you. I got you. you I, you're in my hands. I am your Savior. Y no importa lo que pase el resto del año, dice Dios, te tengo en mis manos. Estás bajo mis manos, bajo mi cuidado. And, and, and he saves us and he protects us. Y él nos protege y nos cuida. And he's saying, I, I will be there for you. No matter what happens out there, I'm, I'm always be there for you. No importa lo que pase afuera, yo siempre voy a estar ahí contigo. As long as we trust him and call upon his name, he will be our savior. Mientras llamamos y confiamos en él, él será nuestro salvador. Now, do we all need a savior? ¿Necesitamos todos un salvador? Yes, we do. Even those people that say, no, I'm good. I don't need to go to church. I don't need God. A una gente que dice, no necesito a la iglesia, no necesito de Dios. They also need a savior. También ellos necesitan un salvador. Because Romans 3.23 says, and you only read it with me, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And that's why we all need a savior, right? Por eso necesitamos un salvador. Romanos 3.23, léelo conmigo. Pues todos han pecado y están privados de la gloria de Dios. Right? That's why we all need a savior. Por eso necesitamos un salvador. Because we all have sinned. Porque todos hemos pecados. There is not a person out there that can say, oh, no, I'm good. I'm, I don't need God. I, I can do it on my own. You know what? I don't need a Savior. I don't need. No. That person is lying. That person is denying the divine help, the divine um, Father that created us. Esa persona está, está mintiendo y aparte está negando que, que tenemos un Padre celestial. We all need God. Todos necesitamos de Dios. And we all need a savior. Necesitamos todo un salvador. Go back, go back to the other one. But sin started, sin started with Adam and Eve, right? El, 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 el pecado entró con Adán y Eva. And, and you probably heard, you probably read it in Genesis. Lo has leído en el libro Genesis, right? And when they disobey God, right, not to eat the fruit, right? Cuando se hicieron de no comer esa fruta, right? But it looks so good, right? Pero se miraba tan rica. And, and, and the fruit was so tasty. Y la fruta era tan rica that they couldn't say no, right? Que no pudieron decir que no. But by their disobedience, pero por su desobediencia, when they took a bite on the fruit, cuando ellos mordieron esa fruta, then God said, now you all have a sinful nature. Ahora todos ustedes tienen una naturaleza pecaminosa. Now you all have this 
nature that all, all, always want to do the opposite of what God wants you to do. Y todos tenemos esa naturaleza que queremos hacer lo opuesto que Dios nos pide que hagamos. God said, do not eat the fruit. Dios dijo, no coman la fruta. And what's the first thing that we do? We eat the fruit, right? Lo primero que hacemos es, nos comemos la fruta, right? And, and that's, that's, how, that's how we humans are. Así somos los humanos. But thank, thanks to God, gracias a Dios, that he, that he sent us a Savior, que nos mandó a un Salvador. So now, I want to I read this um, next uh, quote. It's kind of, I, I thought it was kind of funny, so I don't know. Read it with me and, and let me know what you think. Uh, it says, after creating the heavens and the earth, the ocean and the entire animal kingdom, God created them, Adam and Eve, and the first thing that he said to them was, don't, right? Like, don't mess it up. I just spent six days making this beautiful creation. Don't mess it up. And what do we humans do, right? Y que lo que hacemos los humanos, cuando Dios nos dice, no, no la, no vayan a echar a perder la creación que acabo de hacer. What is the first thing that we do? Lo primero que hacemos, we go and we mess it up, right? Vamos y la arruinamos todo, right? So, so God knew that, that, that we were not perfect creatures. Dios sabe que no éramos criaturas perfectas. And that's why he had a plan B, right? Pero tenía un plan B. And, and on this plan B, he knew that we needed God. So he knew that we needed a Savior. So I, I have this other funny one that, that I thought it was, it was hilarious. So when, when Adam and, and Eve, this is what they wrote on, their, on the tombstones. Adam said, at least my wife could not complain that I never listened to her, right? Because he listened to her that one time and it all went down, right? Um, and then even said, I married what used to be the perfect man, right? What used to be because you know what happened, <laughs> right? So la, la, lo que Adán y Eva, lo que ellos le pusieron en sus, en sus tumbas, um, But everything changed when Jesus came into the picture, right? Go next. Todo cambió cuando Jesús vino a la foto. Before, before Jesus came into the picture, we had to sacrifice little lambs like this ones, right? Tenemos que sacrificar a corderitos como esto. We will bring him into the table, and then the, 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 the highest priest will do the offering for the forgiveness of all of us, right? El, el, el sacerdote es el que venía y hacía el sacrificio por el perdón de todos nosotros. Right? And that had to happen every year. Y eso tenía que pasar todos los años. Every year they had to bring a, a spotless lamb, the perfect lamb, to be sacrificed for the forgiveness of all the people, for everything that they've done for that whole year. Y, y cada año tienen que traer un, un, un corderito perfecto para sacrificarlo por el perdón de toda la, la gente. And so they will do this year after year. Y hacían esto año tras año. And, and, and you know, and, and God said, you know what? Let's read what, what God said um, on the next one. Hebrews 10, 5, 7, this is what it says. Therefore, when Christ came into the world, he said, sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. With burnt offerings and sin offerings, you were not pleased. Next. Uh, por eso, al entrar al mundo, Cristo dijo, a ti no te complacen sacrificios ni ofrendas. En tu lugar, en su lugar, me preparaste un cuerpo. No te agradaron el holocausto ni sacrificios por el pecado. And the next. Then I said, here I am. It is written about me in the scrolls. I have come to do your will. My God. Por eso dije, aquí me tienes. Como el libro dice de mí, he venido, oh Dios, a hacer tu voluntad. Right? So what does that tell us? What does that tell us? That Jesus came to take the place of the little lamb. Right? Jesús vino a tomar el lugar de ese corderito. You know, the lamb that we have to sacrifice every year, la que tenemos que matar cada año. He came and he, and he became the perfect lamb of God. Él vino y se convirtió en el perfecto cordero de Dios. And that was... The biggest act of forgiveness and love and, and heroism ever, ever recorded in history. Ese fue el acto de, de heroísmo y de, y, y de amor más, más maravilloso en toda la historia. And that is what Jesus did for us. Eso es lo que Jesús hizo para nosotros. That was an amazing sacrifice that Jesus did for us. Un sacrificio maravilloso que Jesús hizo por nosotros. So we don't have to die on the cross. So we don't have to take that, that place of sin and shame. Para que tú y yo no tomemos el lugar de, de pecado 
y de vergüenza. Jesus took our place. Jesús tomó nuestro lugar. So before we close, I just want, I just have a, a quick um, example for you. Tengo un pequeño ejemplo para ti. You know, we um, as humans, como humanos, we always find ways how do we, how do we, you know, go about life and sometimes we try to keep God away from us, right? Muchas veces como humanos, como, como humanidad, tratamos de buscar a Dios y cómo mantener a Dios lejos de nosotros. So many times we start building our lives without God in the picture. Y empezamos a construir nuestras vidas sin Dios en la foto. And, and how does that go? ¿Cómo nos va? How does that go when, when God is not in the picture, when God is not our Savior? Cuando Dios no está en la foto y Dios no es nuestro Salvador. But anyways, we build it, right? As if we know what we're doing. Construimos um, nuestras vidas como sabemos lo que estamos haciendo. So we start building our, our houses and we start building our lives saying, hey, I, I know what I'm doing, God. I don't need you, right? I'm good. Y decimos, Dios, no te necesito. Yo voy a construir mi vida yo solo, mi casa, mi hogar. And we just keep building, um, you know, our lives in what we think is best for us. Y construimos nuestras vidas en lo que pensamos que es mejor para nosotros. And where is God in the picture, right? ¿Y dónde está Dios en esa foto? But many times, he's nowhere to be found, right? Muchas veces no lo ves en esa foto. So this airplane represents our lives, right? When we think that we can do this without God. Cuando pensamos que podemos hacer eso sin Dios. And, and we build our lives and we, and we, and we want to fly on our own, right? Y queremos volar nosotros solos. How many of you guys have grew up and, 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 and you want to say, you know what? I can do this on my own, God. I don't need you. And then you try to fly on your own out there. Y trata de volar a tú solo allá afuera. How does it go? Maybe something like this, right? Like my airplane. I don't think this is going to fly too far. Let's see. Nah, I wanted to go like three circles, but... Uh, Yeah, I'm not that good at making airplanes. Sorry, apologize. No soy tan bueno para hacer aviones. In the same way, I'm not that good at building my own life. De esa manera no soy tan bueno para construir mi propia vida. I'm not that good to build my own future. No soy tan bueno para construir mi propio futuro. That's why I decided to follow Jesus, right? Por eso he decidido seguir a Cristo. That's why I have decided to say, God, I need a Savior, and I, I will be here following after you, running after you, because I do need a Savior. Necesito un salvador, voy a seguirte a ti. And that's my decision. And, and I hope that that's your decision as well. Y espero que también esa ha sido tu decisión. But when we don't, pero cuando no lo hacemos, we're trying to fly. Tratamos de volar. And we crash. And we burn, right? Y, 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 y chocamos y nos destruimos. And, and you know what? Many times we're like, you know what? Maybe if I build something a little bit better, right? A lo mejor si construyo algo un poquito mejor. Oh, you know what? Maybe... If I go to church every once in a while, a lo mejor si voy a la iglesia de vez en cuando, that's going to be a little bit better, right? Va a ser un poquito mejor. Maybe God is going to think that, you know, we're friends and we're okay and, and he will be, you know, giving me a break and, and helping me a little bit, right? If I go to church every once in a while, whenever I can, whenever I feel like it, whenever I want. Si voy a la iglesia de vez en cuando, cuando siento ganas, cuando quiero, cuando me animo. And, and we think that by doing that, we're building actually something that will get us a little farther in life, right? Like this rocket, right? Pensamos que, que, que vamos a ir a un lugar más lejos que lo que llevamos antes. Because I'm going to church every once in a while and I don't have to commit to God. I said, God, don't ask me for more. It's enough that I'm spending an hour in church or two hours at the most. That's enough. Don't ask for me anymore. And don't ask me to be there every Sunday either. Y no me pidas que vaya todos los domingos. Y no me pidas que esté ahí más de una hora o dos horas. And we start putting all these conditions in God. But we think that's good enough to get us far, right? Y pensamos que eso es suficiente para llevarnos lejos. And, and you would think that a rocket would get you far, right? Y pensas que un cohete te llegaría lejos. But it still will not get you to heaven. Pero aún así no te va a llevar al cielo. Can you get on a rocket or an, an astronaut, can he get on a rocket and can he get all the way to heaven? No, right? What's the farthest we've gone in a rocket? Moon? The moon? Still the moon, right? Or I'm not, I'm not sure, but something like that, right? No estoy seguro si lo más lejos que hemos llegado en un cohete ha sido la luna. And yet we, wanna, we want to, we, we think that we can get to where God is. Y, y pensamos que podemos llegar y ser donde Dios está y como Dios es. And we're wrong. Because even this rocket 
even if this is our life and we think it's good, y pensamos que es bueno, we think it's powerful, pensamos que es poderosa, and we think that by coming to church every once in a while is good enough, y pensamos que venir a la iglesia de vez en cuando es suficientemente bueno, then let me just tell you, it's not. Déjame decirte, no lo es. You need a personal relationship with God. Necesitas una relación personal y especial con Jesús. You need a Savior. Necesitas a un Salvador. And that Savior is no one else but Jesus Christ. Y el Salvador no es nadie más que Jesucristo. Go next. Jesus said in, in John 14, 14, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And when you accept Jesus, that's when, when you say, God, I surrender to you. I don't want to, 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 to try to live my life the way I think is best. You know what? I want to fully surrender to you. I want to believe in you, trust in you. Quiero confiar en ti, creer en ti, me quiero rendir a ti. When you surrender to the cross, to Jesus, and this cross represents Jesus, right? When you surrender to Jesus, um, that's when you're saying, God, I believe that you are the way to heaven. I believe that you are the truth about life. I believe that you are the life itself and you will give me eternal life. Y vas a dar vida eterna. Tú eres el camino, tú eres la verdad y tú eres la vida y me vas a llevar ahí donde está mi padre. But we need to fully surrender to Jesus. Pero necesitamos entregarnos completamente a Jesús. It's not enough us trying to do life ourselves. No es suficiente nosotros tratando hacer la vida como nosotros queremos. It's not enough you doing life the way you think is best. That's not enough. No es suficiente que tú hagas tu vida como tú piensas que es mejor. You need to trust, believe, and follow Jesus. Necesitas creer, confiar, y seguir a Jesús. And then, and only then, y solamente entonces, that's when you will have a Savior. You will have a Savior for whatever comes next. Vas a tener un Salvador para lo que venga en adelante. And you know what? There are great things. There are great things coming up ahead of us. Hay grandes cosas que vienen adelante. And there's also scary things coming up ahead of us. También hay cosas que nos deben de dar miedo delante de nosotros. But Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth, and the life. So let me ask you, do you have a personal relationship with Christ? ¿Tienes una relación personal con Cristo? Do you have a Savior? ¿Tienes un Salvador? Because one day, you are going to be in front of God the Father, the judge. Un día vas a estar tú enfrente de Dios el Padre, que Él va a ser el juez. And He's going to judge you. Y te va a juzgar. And you know what will make the difference on that moment? ¿Sabes cuál va a ser la diferencia en ese momento? Did you deny Him on earth? Go next. Lo, lo, lo negaste aquí en la tierra. Or did you accept Him here on earth? O lo aceptaste aquí en la tierra. This is what... Uh, go to the next one. Matthew 10, 33. Mateo 10, 33. Let's read together. But everyone who denies me here on earth, I will also deny before my Father in heaven. Next. Pero cualquiera que me desconozca delante de los demás, yo también lo desconoceré delante de mi Padre que está en el cielo. You do not want to deny Jesus here on earth. No quieres negar a Jesús aquí en la tierra. Because one day when you are facing God the Father, God the Judge, cuando, cuando estás cara a cara con el juez que es Dios, then if, if you accepted Jesus, si tú aceptas a Jesús, then he will stand on the way for you. Él se va a poner en el camino por ti, and he's going to tell God the Father, hey, hey, it's okay, he's one of mine, he's one of my own. Let him, let him, go. Let him, let him pass, let him through. Él es uno de los míos, déjalo pasar. But if we deny Jesus here on earth, si negamos a Jesús aquí en la tierra, he will be, oh no, I don't really know that one. He came to church every once in a while, but never had a personal relationship with me. Never fully accepted me. Never fully obeyed me. Never fully surrendered to me. And then you're going to be on your own. And that's not going to look pretty. So we have... The confidence that if we accept Jesus, when we accept Jesus, we have someone that advocates for us. Go next. And that is the promise that we have in 1 John 2, 1. My dear children, I am writing this to you so that you will not sin. But if anyone does sin, 
we have an advocate who pleads our case before the Father. And he is Jesus Christ, the one who is truly righteous. And that is the promise from Jesus to us, right? Mis queridos hijos, les escribo estas cosas para que no pequen. Pero si alguno peca, tenemos ante el Padre a un intercesor, a Jesucristo, el justo. So to close, do you have a Savior? Do you have an advocate? Do you have a lawyer that's going to represent you in heaven? Tienes a un juez, tienes a un, a un abogado, tienes a un salvador que te va a representar en el cielo. Do you? Lo tienes. If your answer is, I'm not sure, si tu respuesta es, no soy seguro, then this is the time when you need to, before you leave this place, when you fully, are fully sure that you have a savior. Antes de que te salgas de este lugar, quiero que seas 100% seguro de que tienes a un salvador. I want you to be fully sure that you have a savior. Quiero que seas 100% seguro que tienes a un salvador. And that savior is Jesus Christ. Y ese salvador es Jesucristo. That savior is Jesus Christ. Ese salvador es Jesucristo. And he will save us from any sin. He will save us from any condemnation. And he will save us from anything really that try to harm us in this life or the next. Y él nos va a salvar de cualquier cosa que nos quiera lastimar en esta tierra, en esta vida o en la que sigue. So I'm just going to give a couple minutes. Voy a dar un par de minutos nada más. Just close your eyes with me. Cierra los ojos conmigo. Because we want to make sure that before we go out, we're covered. Queremos asegurarnos que antes de salir de este lugar, que estemos cubiertos. Covered by the blood of the Lamb. Cubiertos por la sangre de Cristo. With a Savior. Con un Salvador. If you are not sure, if you're not 100% sure that you have a Savior when you get to heaven, cuando llegues al cielo, when you get in front of the judge, cuando llegues en frente del juez, if you don't know that you have a Savior, make this prayer with me. Right there where you are, with your eyes closed. Nobody's, nobody's seeing you. It's just between you and God. Ahí donde estás, haz esta oración conmigo. Si no, si no estás seguro que tienes un Salvador en Jesucristo, haz esta oración conmigo. Ahí donde estás, con tus ojos cerrados, nadie te ve. And just repeat after me. Y repite después de mí. Heavenly Father, thank you because you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to save me, to forgive my sins, to die on the cross for me, to take my place. I didn't deserve it. Yet, in your infinite love, you still send your son, Jesus Christ, to die for me. And I, today, I, I recognize that I've sinned against you. I recognize that I haven't followed you and obeyed you the way you want me to. So I ask you to you forgive my sins. Cleanse me. Make me anew. So that I can follow you from now on, so that I can follow after you, so that I can make sure that I have a savior for when the day comes, when you call me into your presence, that I know that I have someone to, to intercede for me, to advocate for me, and that is Jesus Christ, the only one, the way, the truth, and the life to heaven. So Jesus Christ, come into my heart, make me anew, Cleanse me, purify me, and just help me to follow you every day of my life. Help me to do my best to follow after you and obey you and you alone. I ask all this in the name of Jesus. Lo voy a decir en español. I'm going to make it in, in Spanish. Señor Jesús, en esta mañana te pido que entres a mi corazón. Perdóname cuando te he pecado, perdóname cuando te he fallado, perdóname cuando no te he seguido o te he obedecido de la manera que tú quieres que lo haga. Purifícame, lávame, Señor. Reconozco que te he fallado, que soy pecador, que no merezco la vida que tú me das, pero hoy acepto el regalo de vida que es Jesucristo. Acepto el regalo de vida que tú me das y te pido, Jesús, que tú seas quien toque mi corazón, que tú seas quien cambie mi vida, que tú seas quien transforme mi vida hoy y siempre. Ven a mi corazón, ven a mi vida. 
te acepto como mi Señor y Salvador y no quiero caminar contigo, no quiero estar delante del juez sin ti, sino que quiero que tú estés conmigo, intercedas por mí. Necesito un Salvador y ese Salvador eres tú, Jesús. Te doy gracias en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Amén. If you made a prayer with me today, si hiciste esta oración conmigo en esta mañana, whether it was your first time or, or you've done it before, or you reconciled with God, ya sea que sea tu primera vez o te has reconciliado con Dios, I just want, I just want to congratulate you, but I want to see your hand if, if you made this prayer with me. Just raise your hand and let me, let me see your hands. Thank you. I see you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And you that raise your hand, actually, can you raise it one more time? Because I want everybody else to just uh, look at these um, new children of God that, that, that have accepted Christ again uh, or, or for the first time. And now they are welcoming to heaven. Now, now they're, they're, their names are reading the book of life. So come on, give my hand because God is doing something amazing. Amazing. Amen. And that is the promise and the confidence that we have. When we accept Jesus as our Savior, our names are written on the book of life right? And that is the confidence that we have when we get there. And when they go through the list, you know your name is going to be there, right? But we have to keep following after Jesus. We have to keep following the commitment that we started today. We have to keep following it, keep doing it until God calls us into his presence. Tenemos que seguir este, este compromiso con Dios. Tenemos que seguir siguiéndolo a él y así Aseguraremos que nuestro, vida, nuestro nombre está escrito en el libro de la vida, allá en el cielo. Amen. Amen. Uh, at this moment, um, well, we're going we're gonna to close with a prayer, um, and we're going to ask uh, pray for a blessing over your life, uh, and just pray that God will, will, will strengthen you and bless you as you go out, and just know that God is with you. God is going with you. You have a Savior there for you. For whatever you need, Jesus is there to help you, strengthen you, encourage you, and continue to guide you in the right path. Y sabes que tienes un Salvador en Jesucristo que te va a guiar, te va a ayudar, te va a confortar, va a estar contigo, cualquier sea tu necesidad. Jesús promete estar ahí con nosotros. So please stand up as we pray, and, and as we pray a blessing over your life, um, and your family, and as we go out, um, and, and, and enjoy the rest of the day and the rest of the week. So let's pray a blessing over you. Oremos. Uh, Heavenly Father, we're just so grateful that you are with us. We're so grateful that you have given us this opportunity, Lord, to one more time just accept you, open our hearts to you, and just say, God, thank you because you are my Savior. Now we can say with confidence, thank you because you are my Savior. Thank you because I'm not alone. Thank you because no matter what happens the rest of the year or even next year, I am ready. I am covered. I am protected. I am good because you are by my side. And so we're grateful, God, that you are with us today, and we just pray a blessing over our lives, our families, that everything that we need, God, we know that you will provide. And, and we pray that next Sunday, as we come back into your house, we come with a grateful heart as we celebrate our Thanksgiving service, and as we come with a heart overflowing of thankfulness to give you thanks and give you honor and glory. So be with us and guide us as we go out today. Señor, bendícenos a salir. Sé con nosotros, nuestras familias, nuestros hogares. Bendice y provee cada necesidad de nuestras vidas, Señor Padre. Te pedimos que, que nunca nos dejes solos, sino que siempre vayas con nosotros. Acompáñanos al salir de este lugar y que sea una semana de bendición. Y el próximo domingo que regresemos a celebrar nuestro servicio de acción de gracias. Que, lo, que vengamos con un corazón agradecido, confiando, creyendo que tú estás con nosotros en todo tiempo y en todo momento. And we ask all this in the precious name of Jesus. God, people say. Amen. Amen. Come on, give our last hand to the Lord because he is good. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, God is good. Thank you, church. Uh, we will see you here next Sunday to celebrate our Thanksgiving service. It's going to be a special one. Make sure you don't miss it. Now the ushers are going to dismiss you uh, in rows. Uh, so please um, follow their lead. Thank you so much.